With personal settings, you have um, four, four settings. Default, light, responsive, stable. And you can also customize your own. Uh, go here to show you. The neutral default one uh, we launched in 2013. That's the setting all trucks have today. Uh, however, we have learned that there is a lot of people who would like even a lighter setting than we launched in 2013. Somebody would like a responsive steering, maybe for curving roads up in the mountains. And somebody like just a heavy uh, setting, so we gave them a stable one. And maybe I can use, I can use my fingers to, use, to change the markers, or I can use the steering wheel buttons, so I can then click around here in order to Maybe I like the stable one very much, but I think it's maybe too heavy, so I can reduce it a little bit. And maybe this is my preference. I can then save that one. And if I have uh, my digital ID card, it's also locked to that ID, so I, we can store 10 of those. If there is a lot of side window, the road is tilted or slantering, I can get support instead of driving for four hours just fighting the same force. I can ask for some support. So then I get some tracking support up here uh, in order to keep me easy going straight ahead. Uh, if I have stable as my preference, uh, I can customize stable a little bit like this. And then I can, uh, if I use the steering wheel buttons or that one, I can then move out and save, save this setting. And then on the lane keeping assist, we have a switch for that. The first one here is for just the vibration and warning. So you get the vibration in the, in the steering wheel uh, when you cross the lane marking. So the camera sends information to the onboard computer that tells me I'm about to cross the lane marking now. It gives me a warning pulse in the steering wheel, like a short, uh, short vibration. If I add that switch on, I also get support to get me into the center of the lane. And as well, the VDS removes all the disturbances from the road. I mean, you feel it now, it's bumpy and so on, but you, the steering wheel is, is perfectly calm all the time. If, if you drive a truck without VDS, depending how it's tuned, but you, you, you can get uh, quite a lot of steering kicks in the steering wheel. And just to show you what the system does I will then just pick default here I have two options for low speed one called return which is the steering wheel return the, the speed the velocity and damping damping puts fluids in all these other parameters so if I add no return or very low steering wheel return and a lot of damping the steering wheel I need to catch it back it itself centers very slow if I do the opposite, if I have this as my preference, that I would like to have a very quick steering wheel return with no damping, I can choose that, of course. And I go out like this, oh, catch it another time. Then I have a, a very high velocity of the steering wheel. So it depends on, on my own preference. If I have this much return, I can then break the steering wheel return in my palm instead like this in order to have a perfect steering wheel return. So then I only need to add force in one side, but I need to break it on, on the return side. So it's, it's for the drivers to choose, there is no right or wrong, they could, uh, they could pick whatever they want. So I will accelerate up to, to 55 in order to demonstrate the lane keeping assist. I get the white icon that it can track the lane marking. So the camera actually detects that it can see the lanes. And then if I unintendedly were out drifting, just to show you how to drive your hands off now, I drive with hands off, I get the green icon 
to tell me that the system is helping me now to steer the truck. So if I drift, it will then catch me very gentle and smooth back into the lane again. <laughs> 